Social media has been evolving before our own eyes. We know this. And something that has been happening throughout all of social media so far that I've noticed is filters. Filters are this epitome of Instagram, Snapchat culture. You add a filter to it. What does a filter do? Oh, was it just a silly dog filter on Snapchat when it first started? Or is it Instagram with those simple little filters that make your photo look edited and all pretty? That's how filters started. But filters have evolved and not for the better. How did we go from dog filters to skin whitening and teeth whitening filters? How did we go from grainy, silly aesthetic Instagram filters to chasing perfection in Photoshop? Nowadays, we don't feel attractive if we don't put a filter. Nowadays, we don't feel confident in ourselves if there isn't a filter over our eyes or we use half of our face in a Snapchat. Hmm, this doesn't make sense to me. This doesn't mean that filters are a good thing. This shows that filters are probably harming us more than ever. There's interesting statistics that come out where 50% of teenagers feel negative social comparison on the internet already. And a third of those teens feel the need to be perfect on social media. This can't be good for our self-esteem. And these filters are not helping. Filters, again, used to be silly. They used to be dog filters and little bunny ears, and it was silly, it was goofy. But now, filters are making your skin look nicer. It'll be taking away your blemishes, making your teeth whiter, making you more attractive in the beautification standards of the world, right? But this can't be good for your body image. It can't be good for your self-esteem. I've even seen filters on like a TikTok trend before where it was showing what you would look like if you were skinnier. Like, that cannot be good for your self-esteem. Yes, yeah, some people can be like, you know what, actually that motivated me to lose weight. Well, everyone knows they should be healthy. Everyone knows these things already. But the filters of it are dangerous. And again, it changes the way we look. It's altering the way we actually look. So again, what we run into is catfishing. What we run into is people not looking the same in real life as they do on social media. Social media is becoming more and more fake, and that is a problem. Filters have been rising and rising through all social media platforms. You can put a filter through all the different apps, and some filters aren't even just filters, but their whole interactive experiences, basically, where there's all these things happening. Yeah, it could be silly, yeah, it could be goofy, but again, what does this really prove to us? What does it really show to us? We're just hiding behind different faces, different looks but it's not really who we are. The main thing that really frustrates me with this is that it impacts our self-image. We don't feel good about ourselves if we look more perfect on this camera app or this camera app or, oh, this is anti-aging application thing that makes my skin look better. Oh, let me Photoshop this. Hmm, let me make this look this. It's all this editing and photography where it's like, why is it just not a picture of you? Why do you have to be perfect on the internet? Why do you have to be flawless? It doesn't have to be that way. As long as you are who you are, that's all you need to be. But nowadays with filters, we're getting tricked into thinking that without that filter, I'm not cute. Without that filter, I'm not this. This basically changes the beauty standard. And I was just talking with a friend about this and they were explaining like, no matter where you go in the world, the culture changes to different beauty standards. But I was thinking, wait, with the internet and with social media, the beauty standard is almost meshing into this one beauty standard where you want to have tan skin. You want to be this, you want to be that, have this kind of hair, really white, bright teeth be very skinny and fit and slim thick and all these things. And it's so toxic and unhealthy because again, it's fitting into this one collective synonymous thing of you have to look like this. This is the standard. But then you see all these people getting BBLs, you see people getting lip fillers, you see people getting all these skin treatments, Botox at such a young age, and that's not good for us. We should be okay and confident and happy with who we are as an individual and how we look already. And I'm sure that filters are not helping us. We all know that there's mental health issues. And how is this helping our mental health issues? This is not helping. This is only adding more and more pain into our society and our culture. And again, remember, social media is fake. It's not real life. Real life is who you are when you walk outside your door, not who you are behind the phone. Just remember that and understand before the next time you use a filter, think, I need this filter to look attractive or to make this photo look nice. Sometimes the best filter is no filter. And think about it this way. Are we going to be fostering connection on social media? Or are we fostering superficial things of looking good? Who cares how you look if your soul is ugly? There's no point. So again, how about people focus less on the filters of the exterior world and focus more about themselves? But the start has to come from you and to understand that maybe I shouldn't be using a filter. Maybe filter isn't good for me. And hey, if you want to keep using them, more power to you. Do as you wish. But again, with our future generations growing up in this technology age, what is it going to do to their mental health? What is it going to do to their brains? How is it going to mess with their chemistry? It's going to mess with them in many ways more than one. And then in the future, people want to have avatars and online AI versions of themselves. Are those AI versions of themselves going to have acne? Are those AI versions of themselves going to be fat? Who knows? We're entering a really dangerous side, and I'm worried. 
and I genuinely wanted to share that with you. But what do you think? Do you think filters are ruining our society? Do you think it's just a cog in the machine of self-esteem issues? What do you think? Please feel free to leave it in the comments. It helps boost the algorithm. And I also want to know what you think. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share this to all your friends. I'll see you next week for another video. See you later.